In this problem, we are given a complex circuit diagram with a voltage that kind of jumps from these two nodes. We're asked to find the voltage V naught using voltage and or current division. To solve this problem, we are going to be using current division as well as Kishkoff's voltage law. For starters, we have to know that this two kilo ohm resistor and this four kilo ohm resistor are not gonna have any current passed into it because they don't go anywhere. They just stop here. So there's no current that'll pass through it because there's nowhere for the current to go. That means that these basically won't matter in our circuit analysis. Our current is going to be going up this way and this way. After it splits from this middle node right here, it goes into parallel between these two sides. This first side's resistance is this 10 kilo ohm resistor and 15 kilo ohm resistor. We are going to call it R1 and this will be 25 kilo ohms of resistance. Since they're in series, we can add them together no problem. Next, we have this side. We have this 3 kilo ohm resistor and this 15 kilo ohm resistor. We'll call this R2 and set it equal to 15 kilo ohms of resistance. Now, we want to find the current that's flowing through each of these. Then we can use the Kishkoff's voltage law to find the actual voltage of this part right here. To find the current going through here, since we have this node right here, that means our current is splitting in parallel and we're going to use the current division formula. That formula looks like this. We have I2 is equal to R1 over R1 plus R2 times I of S. We call this current I1 and we're calling this current I2 to stick with our R1 and R2. We have to stay consistent. So we're going to look for the current going in our I2. We know that our R1 is 25 kilo ohms. We know that the IS, which is the current through our system, is currently 18 milliamps because this is the current that is going to flow into this node before it splits. We have 18 milliamps, but we need to convert this to amps to actually use it. So we're gonna multiply this by one with a 10 to the negative cubed on top, and then we're gonna get 18 times 10 to the negative cubed amps. Next, we need to plug in our R1 and R2. We know that our R1 is 25 kilo ohms, and we also know that our R2 is 15 kilo ohms. So we'll just add these together, put the kilo ohms on the outside. That way we can actually just cancel out the kilo ohms. And after we do this, we are gonna get that our current I2 is equal to 11.25 times 10 to the negative cubed amps. To find our I1, all we need to do is subtract it from our initial current. We can also use Kishkoff's voltage law and say that the current going into this node is equal to zero, and then the currents going in is negative, and the currents going out are positive. Or we can just say that our 18, and then if we convert this to actual amps, we'll have 18 times 10 to the negative cubed, must equal I1 plus our I2. That means that our I1 must equal 6.75 amps. This I2 is going to be with this resistor right here. It's also going to be with this three kilo ohm resistor because it's in series and current stays the same in series throughout. We can use Kishkoff's voltage law and either use all of this stuff up here or we can use all of the stuff down here. I'm going to look at the bottom part but I think both would work just the same. If we use Kishkoff's voltage law, which is in the notes linked below, we know that the voltage flowing through a system must equal zero and the system must be closed. So we're going to look at the bottom closed system. We're starting at our 15 kilo ohm resistor and the voltage going in here will be like this because the voltage goes into the positive out of the negative. So that means it has to go this way. It's gonna go through here down here and then back this way like this. So this is the way the voltage is going. And we know this because of this plus minus. It goes into the plus out through the minus. So we're gonna say Kishkoff's voltage law is equal to zero. And we have our first voltage, which is this part right here. So we have a 15 kilo ohm resistor times a 6.75 times 10 to the negative cubed because this is the resistance for that plus our V naught and now we have to have a minus sign. And then after our minus sign, we're gonna have our 12 kilo ohm resistor times our 11.25 times 10 to the negative cubed amps. Plugging all of this into a calculator like this and knowing that a kilo ohm is 1000 ohms, we're gonna get V naught, which is our answer, is going to be 33.75 volts.